<laughs> Alright everyone, this is World of Final Fantasy Collector's Edition. I'm doing this unboxing in height of Final Fantasy 15 coming out next month. I did want to do a better video, like with better lighting, better tables in my dining room table. Uh, I just didn't have time to do it last night. I probably won't have time to do it tonight either. And I do want to play this game already, so I just want to get it out of the box to play it. So let's do a quick unboxing video before I go to work today. So this is a really good spin-off. I already played the demo. I recommend people playing the demo before they buy the game. Um, is that the next main title in the franchise? It's fun, has really simple mechanics. Uh, the gameplay is very classic Final Fantasy. It has the turn base. You have the active time meter to see whose turn it is next. Um, encounter rate is still the same as classic Final Fantasy. You walk in a field and stuff comes up. Like the little battle scene enters. Alright, so let's see what we got in here. So, the whole box contains this big book. You can see chocobos on the side. Nice little gold, shiny finish. And this was the main reason I bought the collector's edition. Um, Long Fuzzy for these three little guys. Um, little Final Fantasy mini figures. These retail for about 15 to 20 a piece at stores. So you get three of them. They're not blind bags because once you buy in retail, it's one out, chances of one out of five of getting each character. Uh, people probably spend more money trying to get one of these characters. I saw some, I wanted to buy them, but if I got anyone that wasn't Cloud, I would have been pretty disappointed. This one I got guaranteed Cloud and Squall. I wasn't too excited for Lightning. She's cool, but they also have a Sephiroth in these mini figures. That's who I really wanted, or even Ace. But Cloud and Squall, even Lightning, it's all a win. So, and that's where they were inserted in this little book, Portal Final Fantasy. And next page, oh wow. So, this is just a pop-up book. Here's the first page of the pop-up. Let's see if it goes any higher. That's pretty neat. It's the first time I've ever seen this with the Final Fantasy game. I'm pretty sure all these are themes and settings of the game. Like here is the cover art, I want to say, with a box. It's still a little sticky. I just want to tear nothing that's not supposed to be torn. So that's really neat. And right there you see chocobos. I'm not sure. Yeah, there's some main characters from the franchise. You have Cloud up here, Yuna, Warrior of Light, Lightning up here. You have uh, really franchise familiar monsters. You have a Behemoth, a Big Eye. So, pretty awesome. Again, I'm pretty sure this is another setting in the game. And the game itself, you have Tomberry. I want to say Tomberry King. Uh, it looks like Omega Weapon. I'm not too sure though. Can see it looks different in every single game. Um, this game overall, the demo is really fun, really simple mechanics. Um, the main characters, you can make them look, I want to say like the regular form, like that. Or you can go to your settings menu and make them look really chibi. And they can ride other monsters and monsters can ride on your head. Um, and I think that's a really cool concept. My daughter, she's never played Final Fantasy. I don't think she ever would want to, but she played this demo, and since they were, she says, cute, she really got into the demo, she liked it, she thought it was a fun game. And this game does have, I want to say, a very similar Pokemon, where you could capture monsters, and that's how you capture them to put them on your head or ride on them. You have to capture them, so it's not you go through the story, progress, and you just get any monster. And in the demo, even in the demo, there's some monsters you do have to do certain stuff to unlock. So it's a pretty neat, it's not like you throw Pokeballs at them. You, it's called a Impulse, I believe. And then we have an art book. So here's the cover for the art book. Here's the back page, the cover for the, I wanna say the main promotional poster. And just open up a few pages in here. I'm not gonna go through the whole book, but. Character design, oh, there's Cloud, Lightning. Character design. Um, now this is the boss in the demo. Oh, Ifrit. Oh, Ifrita. So it's a female little play on words on Ifrit. 
uh, carrot monster design. Yeah, Tomberry, Tomberry King. I believe that's red Tomberry. Uh, Fenner, I'm not. Yeah, Fenner. And usually in the back of art books is usually the settings. So, yeah, so we got settings. So overall, this strategy guide costed, I believe, 120. Here we got the game, which is I'm really excited to play. And for getting the collector, oh, day one edition, it comes with a red tomber. Let me see if I can show that. A Mugo, Sephiroth Summit, and the Japanese voice for the game. I'm not gonna use Japanese voice. The uh, reason I wanted day one was Sephiroth, the main reason. And you get a little chocobo and little cute avatars and it comes with the soundtrack so this one i probably keep sealed i probably won't listen to it if i do decide to listen to it i'll probably download a song or two keep this one sealed i usually try not to open soundtracks but for 120 i believe this is a pretty neat guide not guide uh collector's edition especially with the art book the pop-up was really really neat i've never seen that before i think that's probably what made it worth if you're into collector's edition um if you never played final fantasy before this game might not be for you and the so fact i think this game was mostly for fan favorite uh, you have all the main characters from the franchises in there just all the main monsters from the franchise those are gonna be in every one but i think this game wasn't focused too much on because even people are telling me what game is that i never heard of it i believe square enix didn't want to put too much focus and attention into this game just because next month Final Fantasy 15 comes out. So that's my only issue with this game was the release date. I only have about a month to play it until I focus all my time and attention on Final Fantasy 15. Um, I'm hoping I could beat it. I might not be able to since Sarah does like hog the PlayStation 4 when I'm at work. Or I let her play. She's, she's a child. I can't fight her for the PlayStation. So the only issue with me on this game was the release date. Um, I think it's a good game though, especially to get your kids into the franchise. Again, the game is cute, very simple mechanics. Um, I don't know the story yet, so I can't say it's worth getting. But based on the demo, it was a really fun game. Um, it was nice. Graphics are not breathtaking, but graphics are okay for being what it is. Graphics were okay. Um... I think people should get this game, especially if they want to introduce their kids to the franchise. Get it, you know, they might like a character, they might like some of the enemies, like some of the cuter ones, I'm not saying the ugly ones. I like a Tomberry Moogle, like Sarah fell in love with the Moogles. Uh, so I know when Final Fantasy 15 comes out, she's a little excited for it too, like she saw a Chocobo and she's like, oh look, that's from the other one, I told her, like, yeah. Uh, so, this was, I, I want to say for 120, this was a big win, especially with the mini figures, those mini figures. If you bought three of them separately, you'll probably spend 60 bucks, and you might not even get the ones you want. So, if you like Cloud, Squall, Lightning, saving you money right there, 60. Plus the game, which costs 60 retail. Um, you're getting a nice pop-up book, art book, digital content exclusive, and this nice big box like this. I did not expect this to be this big. Pop-up book was really neat. I think Sarah's going to be excited to see that. Overall, again, I did this in preparation for Final Fantasy 15. I wasn't gonna get the collector's edition, but when Final Fantasy 15 comes out, I have actually three copies of the game. But like, why do you have three copies? Uh, I pre-ordered myself, I paid it off on SquareEnix.com, the deluxe edition of the game. I did uh, manage to get my hands on a ultimate collector's edition on eBay, so that one I'm gonna get also. And then, um, right when I was at the PlayStation Pro, I actually, pre-ordered the Final Fantasy 15 Slim instead of the PlayStation Pro. PlayStation Pro. Uh, solely because it's my favorite game franchise. People are telling me what if Final Fantasy 15 is bad. Again, I played the demos. I watched the movies. I don't think it's going to be bad. I'm really excited for that game. If it is, oh well. It's not your loss, it's mine. But, so with the two deluxe editions I got, the one I ordered and the one that's going to come with the Final Fantasy 15 Slim, those I am going to do a giveaway. Uh, one of them is going to be on Instagram, the other one's going to be on YouTube. So keep, stay posted. And at the end, um, beginning of next month, I'm going to do an unboxing of Funko Pops. And I want to give more details on how to make sure you get a chance to win one of those Final Fantasy 15 Deluxe Editions. And whether